So you're wanting to get into blacksmithing. It's great. It's a really fun, really rewarding hobby. To get started in blacksmithing, you need a forge. You need some way to heat your metal. However, you don't have a lot of money. Easy solution. I'm gonna show you a really cheap burner that won't cost you a fortune. Probably around 10, 15 bucks. Almost free if you go to the junkyard. So stay tuned and I'll show you the burner. So that's it. That's all you need to get started. Well, minus the forge part. It's kind of important too. So I forget who invented this design, but it's really inexpensive and really easy to make. So I've got a quarter inch nipple here that's been capped off. Then I have a brass fitting so you can put your hose on. Underneath, I can't really show you, but there is. There's a little hole for your orifice right down here. It's about 0 .035, so you'll need a Dremel to, to cut that hole or one of those little hand drill things. So there are two different types of burners. You have a forced air burner and an atmospheric burner. This is an atmospheric burner. Uh, how this works is when the gas goes down the tube, it creates a negative pressure and air is drawn in through the top here and then goes over and then once it hits the chamber of the forge, it mixes and has a complete combustion if you have your ratios right. So with this, I had to cut a little bit more off to open up a little bit more available air for the gas to mix properly. So when you weld this up, it's just a tack here, then you could put a tack up here if you'd like, but you wanna make sure this hole is angled straight down the pipe. You don't wanna angle towards the side, otherwise you're gonna have incomplete mixture of gas and air. So to mount it to the forge, you're gonna need a piece of pipe that's just a little bit bigger than the outside diameter of this burner, so it can slide nice and easy in there. So then I drilled a hole, welded a nut on, got a bolt, made some wings, so you can lock that down into place. So that's not moving anywhere. So once you get it set to the proper depth inside your forge, you'll have a better burn. The depth of your burner, you want it just, just barely below your insulation. So you don't have too much burner exposed to heat up and eventually wear away due to oxidation. So let's fire this forge up. I use a zero to 20 PSI regulator, which gets up the forge welding temperature just fine. However, a zero to 30 PSI regulator would be ideal. But with this burner setup, you might need to add a couple extra holes for more introduced air into the burner. You can drill holes in the side or, cru or cut slits. Either way, that works. Here we go. running kind of low right now. You can crank that up. It'll heat up just nice. 